Alexander Boris Dpfvl Johnson. This is for all my Ragatooth shark friends. Get your pencils ready. First up, apologies for the shallow research on this. I really don't know that much about British politics, but I thought it'd be fun because people like the other one about ScoMo. So let's try it with Bojo. Before I show you a step-by-step -step demonstration of how to caricature Boris Johnson, I thought I might go through some symbols or some icons that you might want to include in your image to help your viewer identify your subject. What do we got? Oh yeah. Um, born into a extremely wealthy and extremely competitive affluent family, Boris Johnson had an obscenely expensive education. First at Eton and then at Oxford. To represent this, you might want to look at British symbols through literature such as picture him as Toad from Toad Hall in one of those cool retro automobiles careening off a cliff, uh, laughing in a jolly way. You might want to include the Eton Crest, which looks like this. It's quite ugly. You might want to replace the, all of those ugly little symbols with the pound sterling symbol, which is of course what represents it best. If you want to send your privileged progeny there, it will cost you about 48,000 pounds per year. That's 88,800 in Australian dollars. A surprising coincidence, David Cameron also went to that same school. Once released upon the wide world, Boris Johnson chose to become a journalist. First, a very shaky start at the Times, where he was fired for fabricating a quote. But no worries though, Boris Johnson soon found a job at The Telegraph, where he pandered to xenophobia by peppering his articles with racism, homophobia, and a healthy dose of fear-mongering. To represent this, you won't want to include an old-fashioned typewriter or a newspaper somewhere in the image, because in essence, like our ScoMo, he's a media man. While at The Telegraph, Boris Johnson began his campaign against the EU, building them up as some kind of straw man. I think you can see where this is going. But before all that, miraculously, Boris Johnson became Lord Mayor of London. Who would have thought a hard right, populist, elitist, toffee muffin might become the Mayor of Progressive London? Anything's possible, kids. The most enduring image of Boris Johnson came out of this period, when in 2012, during the London Olympics, as a stunt for television, Boris Johnson was to be ziplining from here to there, but got stuck about here. As he dangled, there was much mirth worldwide. To represent this, what you might want to include is the blue helmet he was wearing on that day, or the red harness that he was also wearing, and the pathetically small uh, Union Jacks that he was waving. After two terms as Lord Mayor of London, he went back into national politics and became a bother to Theresa May, who quickly sent him off to be the Foreign Secretary. He fervently endorsed the sale of UK weapons to Saudi Arabia during the Saudi Arabian invasion of Yemen, the consequences of which are still felt today. He also misrepresented British citizen Nazanin Zagari Radcliffe and gave evidence that led to her being imprisoned for five years. Neither of these things are very easy to represent pictorially. However, it's helpful to have some background information on your subject. Finally, Boris Johnson becomes the pro-Brexit PM. Piggybacking on years of Tory governance, he becomes the pro-Brexit man who's gonna get it all done. Okay, so Brexit is the diplomatic equivalent of shooting yourself in the foot with no benefits and only disadvantages. It is a complete schmuzzle, and many British pro-Brexit voters are slowly coming to realize that the whole thing was a sham, a distraction, inferring that all of Britain's problems came from without, not from within. To represent Brexit is fairly easy. You can do a whole bunch of things, creatively think about all the symbols of Britain, perhaps people all being loaded onto a Big Ben as a rocket and being jetted off into space, or perhaps while you're there you can do a Britain being dragged off the map. There's a lot of different things you can do there. Lastly, tardiness. One thing that's been common throughout all of Boris Johnson's career is his lateness. Now, this might not sound like much, because, you know, back in the day, it's just late articles on print night. It would turn into a sledging match. But what's worse is when you turn that into a national context in a global pandemic and you have a prime minister who is so tardy in response to the COVID-19 and Delta variant outbreak that thousands and thousands of people died unnecessarily. Britain had one of the world's worst COVID outbreaks, and that was all due to Boris Johnson's inability to act. Since then, to their credit, Britain has done a good job of vaccination, but at the very beginning, it was very, very bad. So tidiness, you might want to include a broken clock or infer the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, or you can have a morbid pile of bodies behind Boris Johnson as he goes 
merrily on his way. If you're still with me and you'd like to do a caricature portrait of Boris Johnson, that'll happen now. Starting on the left of your page, let's start with a long, almost straight line, then a dip shape, kind of like an old saucepan. Then we are going to go underneath that with a long U shape. Then we can get started with our central coast uh, grommet sideburns. And remember to pop those over the other side as well. And then pop in your fringe. You want these fringe, the fringe to be parted in the center, but because we're looking slightly to the left, it's a little bit to the left. If you need to measure, just measure from the chin. Then go over the top again, spread out strokes, maybe some stuff sticking up. And then it's back to the central coast. Let's get a bit of an ear just next to your sideburns, but then we're going to get straight into that Datsun 180Y mullet sticking out the back there. Again, very thin spaced out strokes because we've got flaky, white, thin hair. To figure out where your nose is gonna go, what you wanna do is have the bottom of it line up with those sideburns. So yeah, right about there. And then the bottom of the nose kind of has its own little buttocks. So pop your buttocks on and then get stuck into your nostrils, which stick out the sides, just like pretty close to your buttocks, two little brackets just like that. And make sure they're nice and dark on the inside of the nostrils there. Okay, so coming off the top of that nose, we are going to build quite a large and wide shape that comes down and thins towards the top, like an ancient Greek vase. You want it to thin going like this at the top, and then your, the tops of your eyes are going to form two diagonal lines that lead up to the top of that vase, like a stack of money. Underneath the eyes, you want big bags, lots and lots of bags to put all your money in. Um, if you want to squeeze in some pupils there, yes, put them in by all means, pointing any direction you like. On the ends of those eyes, make sure you've got some stacks of some money that couldn't fit in the bags. For your eyebrows, you just want really quite super thin. Super thin eyebrows. Then when we get to the top lip, the top lip is kind of like a, a drunken slug that's being uh, pushed on a swing by two tiny little ants. Underneath that you want a London traffic jam um, of teeth all crashing into each other, honking their horns. Underneath that you want this kind of lost, um, gormless bottom lip that hangs about like last generation's politicians. Again, try and keep that all lined up in the center. To finish up, just do a few more dashes here and there. Do some little tax avoiding wrinkles around about the, the sides of the face. Tidy up the back of the neck and you're done. There you've got yourself a um, caricature of Alexander Boris de Puffer Johnson. I hope you've enjoyed this clip and I hope to see you again. If you'd like that kind of thing, please click subscribe and I'll make more of these because it's kind of fun, right?